We're going to get started. And before we do, we're going to have prayer. If everyone could bow their heads for a word of prayer. Our most gracious Father in heaven, we thank you for this time that we've come together. We thank you, Father, for the educators, Lord, for their dedication. And for those, Lord, that we're here to honor tonight. We pray thanking you for all the love and blessings that you give us. May we have a good time together tonight. Thank you for all things, but most of all, Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Heskey, Director of Schools here in Sevier County. And first, before anything else, please continue to enjoy this wonderful meal. Uh, don't stop, but we are going to go ahead and get started so that we can begin the celebration for this wonderful group of people. So it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Sevier County Educator of the Year and Hall of Fame Banquet. I feel so honored to be in the presence of this group of people. And I wanna make sure that you know that you are the reason that excellent opportunities occur for our students. Your knowledge and expertise, your example, and your personal interactions with students make all the difference. So I want to encourage you to keep going because I am only one of many in this room for whom the Sevier County school system made a difference. As you all know, serving in education is not for the faint of heart. So it's only fitting that we celebrate the very best of our school system here tonight. I would be remiss if I didn't thank our five school board members, John McClure, Mike Oakley, Mark Strange, Charles Temple, and Kevin Townsend for all of their efforts. Gentlemen, would you just stand for a moment so we can return gratitude to you. I also want to acknowledge members of our central office administration for their support. If you work in our central office, would you please stand? Thank you so much. And in particular, Dr. Lori Hill. Is Dr. Hill, are you in here? She is running about right here. She is. Uh, she served as our coordinator of our event. And so I really want to thank you for all of your efforts. She was beautiful. And then also our school administrator. We want to recognize them for their daily work. They have a thankless job, and so I'd like to ask if you are a school-level administrator, would you please stand as well so we can recognize you. Before we begin the program, I would like to also thank our sponsor, Collier Hospitality, for this beautifully decorated venue wonderful meal, invitations, awards, and many other countless details they arranged for this event. Also, many thanks to the Sevierville Convention Center for hosting our event. At this time, please welcome Kay Collier-Pittman, president of Collier Hospitality, who tirelessly and generously worked with our system to make this night special. Kay, I have something for you. On behalf of the Sevier County School System, we would like to present you with this plaque for being such a tremendous educational partner. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I asked Stephanie if I could just take a moment to say thank you to you all because I do realize how difficult your day-to-day -day lives are. Um, I serve a foster care review board, so once a month I hear some tremendous stories about the children in our community. 
And I also hear tremendous stories about how wonderfully the teachers step up and are a real role model for these students. But I know that I hear them monthly and you all hear them daily. So again, I commend everybody in the room for the amount of caring, the time and effort that goes into your day on any given school day. But more than that, I want to say thank you as a parent. My children both attended Sevier County Schools. Um, my brothers all attended Sevier County Schools. Oh my gosh, my parents attended Sevier County Schools. Nieces and nephews. So we're very much vested in the community as well in the school system and can tell you that the school systems do prepare you for colleges wherever you may choose to go. And if you don't choose to go to college, it also prepares you for life in the hundreds of opportunities our area offers. But I also wanted to share with you a personal story. Um, when they told me earlier that Norma Blair was going to be receiving an award tonight, Norma Blair was my homeroom teacher in high school. Um, she was, of course, my honors English teacher my senior year. And more than that, when I was a freshman in college, taking honors English, which was insane for me, she would proof my papers. But for those of you that are perhaps younger than me, I didn't type them and email them. I actually had to type them on a typewriter, print them out. You know, for those of you older know that that's the way you get paper out of a typewriter. <laughs> I had to actually drive them to Norma's house, go in, let her proof them, take them back to Knoxville, retype them with all the corrections that she helped me make. But I guess I want to say that because I know each and every one of you goes above and beyond the way she did for me, even though I wasn't her student anymore. Just a willingness to help her student, her past students, to succeed. So again, I commend all of you all because I know you all have that same spirit. So thank you. Good evening. My name is Stacia Lewis and I am the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction and I too am very glad you're here and I'm honored to celebrate with you. It is my specifically distinct pleasure this evening to recognize the 2024 Teachers of the Year, Support Staff Members of the Year, Principal of the Year, Supervisor of the Year, and four brand new inductees into the Educator Hall of Fame. If you notice, there is a new award in the lineup this evening, uh, one that we've all known for a long time. Uh, it's critical to the successful operation of our school system. Uh, let's face it, much would be left to be desired if it weren't for our support staff. So there will be seven new cat awardees this evening uh, representing seven categories of our support staff, and we're thankful for those folks as well. This evening is always a special occasion because it really gives us the opportunity to honor those whose commitment and practices exemplify the best in education. Uh, this year is just as special because we're celebrating not only those that exemplify the best, but those who are recognized by their peers as leaders during what most of us would refer to as an era filled with obstacles and challenges. Although somehow, those of you sitting here this evening, manage to prioritize the things that matter and that change lives for students every day. My charge to all of our school system employees this evening is clear paths, bright futures, no limits. Clear paths. I challenge you to have a vision for each student that reaches far beyond our classroom walls. We must visualize a future for our students that offers clear direction for them to be able to live their lives fulfilling their purpose and using their God-given gifts. You are often the anchor of hope for many children who find themselves in hopeless situations. You have the power to navigate the direction of their path. Bright futures. Because you are here this evening, you have mastered the art of teaching and realize that the human beings that we work with really are worth the effort. You're a dealer of dreams, a diehard for dedication, a purveyor of passion, and a champion of unwavering commitment. Your tireless efforts have not only shaped minds, but they've also inspired dreams and ignited a thirst for knowledge. 
no limits. You are an often an everlasting source of energy and encouragement in the midst of many obstacles students face. But most importantly, you are the core or the heart of what it means to be an educator by caring for and nurturing those under your influence. Love your students and be great every day. They deserve it without limitation and their lives depend on it. Tonight as you receive this well-deserved award, know that you're not just recognized for your achievements, but celebrated for the profound impact you've made on generations to come. Please join me now as we watch a video to recognize in those being honored this evening. I'm more than happy to say a few words about Dr. Danielle Smallwood, uh, this year's County Teacher of the Year. We're very pleased about that from Seymour High School. Uh, I've known Miss Smallwood for over 20 years. Uh, she actually started here when her name was Danielle Trainer, So she's been around a while. 
uh, in those years since she started. I've watched her grow immensely from a beginning teacher to now a doctor of uh, education. She is a premium English teacher. Her scores uh, in English too uh, usually lead the county, which we're very pleased with. Uh, I've often told her that I could see her being with the State Department one day in education. She's that good. Dr. Smallwood, congratulations for your selection as the County Teacher of the Year. I'm Leanne Clark. I am Dr. Smallwood's next door neighbor at school and colleague and friend. Um, Ms. Smallwood, well, Dr. Smallwood is a selfless, amazing person who will go out of her way to do anything for anyone, especially the students. And she's a wonderful example of what being a teacher and role model should be. Congratulations, Danielle. We're all proud of you. Awesome job. I'm Bobby Newland from Seymour High School, and I have been teaching with Danielle Smallwood since 2011, and she's been my department head for the majority of that time. Um, the very first year I was here, I was actually in her classroom, and she was so kind and shared it with me, and she made my home, since I graduated from here, feel like extra home for me. Um, she was there as a support system, as a mentor, and then just as a really good friend. Um, and we've stayed great friends throughout this process, and I have used her as a role model when I took over yearbook of how to um, just talk to my students, how to make relationships with my students, how to grow my program because she started this program and she grew it herself. And I just love Danielle and I'm so proud of her and I cannot think of anybody that is more deserving of this award than Danielle Small. PFI is so proud of Dr. Lisa Ashmade. Not only does she represent PFI this year for Teacher of the Year, but she also represents Middle Grades Teacher of the Year for the county. And while this was thrilling to us for her to win this award, it certainly was not surprising. When Pigeon Forge uh, restructured in 2020, Lisa Ashmade was at the high school and she had decided to move to the junior high and then she came to the intermediate school. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit concerned thinking, is she going to be able to adjust so quickly to our age group? Well. It took me about 30 seconds of seeing her in the classroom to know that I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Lisa has just been a master of any assignment that she's been given. However, since we opened in 2020, she's been teaching sixth grade ELA. She piloted Amplify for us the year before the county actually adopted it. Well, it was also the year of COVID. It was the year of CKLA implementation. It was the year that we moved into a new school, so why not add one more thing to the list? So we did, and she began using Amplify and using it well. Since then, we've seen tremendous student improvement, and Lisa's played a vital role through a combination of effective teaching strategies, personalized attention, and a commitment to continuous improvement. I believe, though, that these efforts linked with several others. Lisa's just created a learning environment that empowers students to truly reach their full potential. Now, while I think Amplify is great, I don't think it's the reason we're making such huge gains at PFI. I believe it's because of the emphasis we put on culture and relationships, and to see Lisa interact with her students on a daily basis is quite remarkable. She demonstrates a genuine interest in their lives, and they always feel valued and comfortable around her, as do her colleagues. She truly promotes a collaborative spirit. She also shares her knowledge and her experience with her colleagues, she helps them navigate through the challenges of teaching. Lisa's truly just a great team player. I'm confident that the culture of PFI and the environment here could not have been accomplished without Dr. Lisa Ashmade, and I'm personally so thankful for her. I can't think of anyone better to represent Middle Grades County Teacher of the Year than our very own Dr. Lisa Ashmade. So congratulations, Lisa. We love you, and we're just so very proud of you. Congratulations, Lisa. I knew from the moment that I met you through the Blended Learning Academy years ago that you were something special. And now I'm just so honored to get to work alongside you each and every day and see you pour your heart and your energy into your students. I can't think of anyone more deserving. Congrats again.
Congratulations, Ms. Henderson, on being named the district-wide Teacher of the Year for kindergarten through fourth grade. We are so blessed to have Ms. Henderson part of our faculty and staff here at Sevierville Intermediate School. She has high expectations for our students, and that is displayed in her classroom every single day. Anytime that we're in her classroom, students are actively engaged in learning. She is finding ways to really ensure that every student receives a really dynamic educational experience and grow while they are in her classroom. Not only is she a fantastic educator in the classroom, but she's also an amazing leader in our building. She's one of our ELA lead teachers and has provided training and support for teachers, not only at Sevierville Intermediate School, but also across the district. Her training and her mentoring has provided so much support and we are seeing the impact of that on a daily basis in classrooms within our building, as well as across the district. I've known Ms. Henderson for three years now, and she consistently encourages me and pushes me to be a edu better educator, um, to continue to grow in my craft as an educator, and that is definitely something that we value here at Sevierville Intermediate School. So again, congratulations, Ms. Henderson. We are so proud of you, and we are blessed to have you part of our family here at Sevierville Intermediate School. Uh, I wanted to just take a minute to say how much I enjoy teaching with Nikki. We met each other last year teaching at Sevierville Primary School. We both taught first grade, and um, I, we just clicked immediately. And so then this year, when we found out Sevierville Intermediate was opening, we thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, try something different, but do it together. So we came here and did fourth grade, ELA. She's been um, a wonderful help to me, such a mentor. She knows so much about education and students and teaching, and it's just an overall uh, inspiration and a professional. So anytime I have a question or a concern, I know that I can go there because she is gifted at helping. So she wants to help fellow teachers, uh, succeed. She wants to help students succeed and just really gives her all, her, her complete effort to everything that she does. Congratulations, Nikki. I am so proud of you and you are well uh, deserving of this award. Um, I voted for you, so I was so glad that you got to win because that's exactly who I voted for and I'm just honored to teach alongside of you and learn uh, all the things that you already know that you can share with me. So, congratulations. If you were recognized in that video as a 2024 Teacher of the Year, could you please stand at this time so we could honor you? Congratulations to each of you. Uh, you do have an award uh, that you'll be able to pick up in the hallway just outside the backdrop uh, where we'll also take a group photo after this evening's activities. If you are on the video and being awarded as a, a support staff member of the year for 2024, could you please stand at this time to be honored? Your awards will also be in the hallway outside the backdrop at the conclusion of this evening's activities, and we'll capture a group photo there as well. At this time, it is my honor to recognize and celebrate our district level Teachers of the Year. Uh, if you would please come forward to receive your award when I call your name. The individual representing the Pre-K-4 category is Mrs. Nikki Henderson from Sevierville Intermediate.
The individual representing the 5-8 category is Dr. Lisa Ashmead of Pigeon Forge Intermediate. The individual representing the 912 category is Dr. Danielle Smallwood uh, from Seymour High School and Gary Harden Academy. At this time, it is my honor to recognize the 2024 Principal of the Year, Mr. Rodney Hilton. <laughs> Rodney Hilton brings a wealth of experience and dedication to the realm of education. His journey is characterized by a strong academic foundation and a profound commitment to both professional excellence and community service. His educational voyage began at Carson Newman College where Rodney's dedication to education was evident, earning him a Bachelor of Arts in Elementary Education in 1996. This early commitment laid the foundation for his subsequent achievements. Fast forward to 2004, Rodney earned a Master of Education degree in Educational Administration and Supervision. Rodney then obtained an Educational Specialist degree with the same focus as his master's degree from Lincoln Memorial University in 2006, marking the beginning of his transformative journey in educational leadership. For over two decades, Rodney has been a steadfast present in the Sevier County School System. Currently donning the hat of principal at Seymour Intermediate School, his impact extends beyond administrative duties. Previously, he, he held New Center Elementary and Jones Cove Elementary School, demonstrating a knack for fostering positive learning environments. In 1999, Rodney ventured into teaching as a third grade instructor at Seymour Intermediate School, laying the groundwork for his hands-on approach to education. Transitioning to assistant principal in 2006, Rodney embraced a multifaceted role, juggling responsibilities that ranged from textbook coordination to student discipline. Beyond the school gates, Rodney has been a community stalwart coaching football at Seymour High School and Seymour Middle School, volunteering at Seymour Little League and actively participating in Oak City Baptist Church, he's woven himself into the fabric of community life. In essence, Rodney Helton is not just an educator or principal, he is a community builder, a mentor, and a catalyst for positive change. His story is one of passion, dedication, and a genuine desire to make a difference in the lives of those he serves. With a comprehensive background in education, leadership, and community service, Rodney stands as a beacon of inspiration, shaping not only the educational landscape, but also leaving an enduring impact on the community he serves. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Rodney Helton, who is unable to be here this evening, so we will look forward to presenting him with his award at a future date. At this time, it is my honor to recognize the 2024 Supervisor of the Year, Mrs. Missy Wade. Missy Wade, Director of Special Education, is a seasoned and dedicated educational professional with a rich background in various roles within the education sector. With a passion for fostering inclusive and supporting learning environments, Missy has demonstrated her commitment to the field through her diverse experiences. Beginning her career as a teacher, Missy honed her skills in the classroom, providing students with a strong foundation for academic success. Recognized for, for her exceptional teaching abilities and leadership qualities, 
she progressed to the role of principal where she furthered her impact on the overall school environment. Understanding the unique needs of students, Missy transitioned into the role of a special education supervisor. In this capacity, she worked diligently to develop and implement programs that catered to the diverse learning styles of students with varying abilities. Her strategic approach and empathetic demeanor earned her the trust of both students and their families. Building on her success as a special education supervisor, Missy Wade assumed the position of Director of Special Education. In this pivotal role, she oversees and guides the implementation of comprehensive special education programs across the school system. She collaborates with educators, parents, and other stakeholders to ensure that every student receives the support they need to thrive academically and socially. Missy's leadership extends beyond the administrative realm. She actively engages in professional development to stay abreast of the latest advancements in special education practices. Her commitment to continuous improvement and her ability to foster collaborative partnerships have made her an integral asset to the educational community. As Director of Special Education, Missy Wade continues to champion the cause of inclusive education, making a lasting impact on the lives of students and contributing significantly to the advancement of educational practices. Please join me in celebrating and recognizing Ms. Missy Wade. been inducting individuals into the Educator Hall of Fame since 2009. To date, there are 62 members, and tonight, four more individuals will be added to their ranks. When I think about the Sevier County Educator Hall of Fame, I am often reminded of a quote by Stephen Covey, and it goes like this, be a light, not a judge, a model, not a critic, make commitments and keep them. I believe that the people we are about to induct in the Hall of Fame have done just that. They have been a light for all to see for many years. They really understand what it means to show up and be present. They have been a model, a model of excellence that all of us would benefit from emulating in our own practice. And their being honored here this evening brings certainty to their commitment in fulfilling their purpose while with us. It is my honor at this time to recognize our four new inductees into the Educator Hall of Fame. Mrs. Norma Blair. Born in Sevierville, Tennessee in 1923, Norma Blair embarked on a remarkable journey filled with dedication, passion, and a profound love of education. At the age of 101, she stands as a testament to a life well lived shaped by her endearing commitment to teaching and enriching the lives of countless students. Norma's educational odyssey began with a fervent pursuit of knowledge, culminating in degrees from esteemed institutions such as Tennessee Wesleyan, Middle Tennessee State University, and the University of Tennessee Knoxville. Armed with a diverse background in music and English studies, she returned to her hometown in 1971, where destiny awaited her at Sevier County High School. Hired as an English teacher, Norma's stellar qualifications soon caught the eye of Principal Coe, who entrusted her with the task of initiating a choral program, leveraging her bachelor's degree in music. Over the course of five years, she nurtured budding talents fostering the love for music within the school community. Additionally, she spearheaded the drama club, leaving a permanent mark on the performing arts scene at Sevier County High School. Norma's tenure at Sevier County High School was distinguished by her collaborative spirit and camaraderie with esteemed colleagues like Julia Householder and Anna Ashley, affectionately known as the Golden Girls. 
Together, they orchestrated memorable events, including the grand retirement celebration for Julia Householder, a testament to their endearing friendship and shared dedication to education. Her commitment extended beyond the confines of the classroom, as evidenced by her involvement in initiatives like Tennessee Tomorrow, alongside luminaries like Julia Householder and Bill Yett. Together, they provided students with enriching experiences, including trips to Nashville for legislative sessions during government days, broadening the horizons and nurturing their civic engagement. Norma's passion for literature led her to introduce her students to esteemed authors like Tim Chaplin, enriching their educational experience with first-hand insights into the world of writing and storytelling. Moreover, her dedication to fostering global perspectives saw her lead advanced students on transformative European trips during school breaks, fostering cultural exchange and lifelong learning. In recognition of her outstanding contributions, Ms. Blair was honored with prestigious accolades, including selection for the Governor's Academy of Writing in 1988 and induction into the Educator Hall of Fame, a testament to her enduring impact on generations of students. As she reflects on her illustrious career, Ms. Blair remains a beacon of inspiration, embodying the timeless values of passion, dedication, and the transformative power of education. The Educator Hall of Fame proudly welcomes Mrs. Norma Blair. Thank <laughs> you. 
What an honor it is to be a product of Norma Bear's uh, English classroom. I know some of you share that same credence. Um, what, what an honor that is. Our next educator Hall of Fame inductee is Mrs. Susan Carr. Susan embarked on her remarkable journey in the realm of education with a humble start, splitting her time between Pittman Center and Caton's Chapel Schools. Tasked with coaching both boys and girls basketball teams at Caton's Chapel, Susan found herself navigating the transition from six person to five person ball on the smallest court imaginable. Despite the challenges, she approached the role with enthusiasm, even if she recalls her time as the worst coach in Sevier County history. <laughs> Returning to Pittman Center the following year marked the beginning of a nearly three decade tenure. Initially teaching a split seventh and eighth grade curriculum encompassing all subjects, Susan's dedication to her students shone through. With the addition of new teachers, she eventually found herself leading a self-contained sixth grade class, further deepening her connection with the students and the curriculum. In 1997, Susan transitioned into the role of principal at Pittman Center, stepping into the sizable shoes left by Mr. Curtis Henry. Determined to maintain the school's legacy of excellence, she poured her heart and soul into her leadership, fostering a nurturing and supportive environment for both students and staff alike. As her career progressed, Susan embraced the opportunity to serve as a special education supervisor, spending significant time at Trula Lawson Center. This role allowed her to continue her passion for supporting children's growth and development while forging lasting friendships within the educational community. One of the crowning achievements of Susan's career came with the realization of a long-held dream, the construction of a new Pittman Center Elementary School. Spearheaded by a dedicated committee led by Jim Quickendall, the new school opened its doors in January 2009, carrying forward the cherished sense of family and camaraderie that defined the old building. Under the guidance of Wendy Patterson and Carrie Gumlick, the spirit of unity and support continues to thrive, ensuring that the legacy of Pittman Center Elementary endures for generations to come. Though the physical presence of the old school may be missed, its memory lives on in the hearts of all who pass through its halls, symbolizing the resilience and strength of a community united in its commitment to education and growth. Through her unwavering dedication and passion, Susan's impact on Pittman Center Elementary and beyond will be felt for years to come, 
a testament to the power of love and friendship in shaping young minds and building a brighter future. The Educator Hall of Fame proudly welcomes Mrs. Susan Carr. Accepting the award for Susan this evening are her children, Logan and Lindsay Carr. didn't think I was going to cry, sorry. Um, I don't even know what to say. Educator, which is so important to my mom, and if she could be here, she would say, this is too much. I don't need this kind of award. But the thing is, she had such a heart and a passion for her children and her teachers. And it's just every day she would make a difference for somebody, somewhere. And I'm, we just really appreciate you all honoring her with this. So sorry, I'll, I'll stop now. <laughs> but thank you very, very much. Our next inductee into the Educator Hall of Fame is Mr. Curtis Henry. Curtis Henry's remarkable career with the Sevier County School System spans over four decades as a dedicated educator, coach, and esteemed administrator. His journey commenced in May of 1975 as he assumed the role of an interim English teacher at Seymour High School. During the late 1970s, Mr. Henry's passion for education and athletics converged as he taught seventh and eighth grade while coaching both girls and boys basketball at Kodak Elementary School. His leadership extended further as he assumed the mantle of a teaching principal, first at New Center Elementary and then at Payton's Chapel Elementary, where he successfully balanced instructional duties with administrative responsibilities, nurturing young minds while coaching basketball. In 1984, Mr. Henry transitioned to Seymour High School, where he imparted his expertise in English while also contributing as an assistant girls basketball coach. However, his true calling as a principal emerged in 1990 when he assumed the helm at Pittman Center Elementary, fostering a nurturing environment conducive to academic excellence. In 1997, Mr. Henry's administrative prowess led him to the central office where he served as the director of student services, advocating tirelessly for the holistic development of every student. A brief hiatus from the educational realm saw him serve as assistant county mayor from 2006 to 2008, demonstrating his versatility in leadership. Returning to his educational roots in 2008, Mr. Henry assumed the principalship of Gatlinburg Pittman High School, steering the institution toward greater heights of achievement until 2011. His final chapter in the Sevier County School System saw him back at the central office, this time as director of secondary education, where he spearheaded initiatives to enhance educational opportunities for secondary students. Throughout his tenure, Mr. Henry witnessed significant transformations in the educational landscape, from infrastructure upgrades to the implementation of innovative programs to meet the evolving needs of students. His unwavering dedication, coupled with his visionary leadership, has left an enduring legacy in the annals of Sevier County's educational history. 
Curtis Henry's tireless commitment to excellence truly embodies the spirit of a lifelong educator. The Educator Hall of Fame proudly welcomes Mr. Curtis Henry. I don't think I ever understood when people would say they were humble when they received an award. But to be in the same group as Norma Blair, Susan Carr, Bill Thompson, that is humbling. Thank you all. into the Educator Hall of Fame is Mr. Bill Thompson. In the heart of Sevier County, a dedicated educator, coach, and school administrator left an indelible mark on the community's educational landscape. Dr. Bill, as he was affectionately known, posthumously joins the esteemed Educator Hall of Fame for his transformative impact on Northview Elementary and the countless lives that he touched. Dr. Bill's journey in the Sevier County school system spanned two decades, beginning in November of 1986 at Pigeon Forge Middle School. His commitment to education and passion for shaping young minds are evident from the very beginning. Driven by a relentless pursuit of knowledge, he earned his master's degree from ETSU in 1990, an EDS from LNU in 1995, and a doctorate of education from ETSU in 2002 all of which showcase his dedication to personal and professional growth. In July 1991, Dr. Bill embraced the role of assistant principal at Northview Elementary, quickly ascending to the position of principal in July of 1994. His visionary leadership created a culture of family, earning Northview the reputation of being the best kept secret on the hill. Dr. Bill believed in the importance of character education and implemented Sevier County's very first Character Counts program, anchored by the six pillars of character, trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship, qualities that he embodied daily. Beyond his administrative duties, Dr. Bill's connection with students was unparalleled. Every morning, regardless of weather, he greeted children by name, offering hugs and words of encouragement, his commitment to their well-being extended to providing a sense of safety and love. Angry parents would often enter his office and leave with smiles, a testament to his ability to navigate challenges with grace. Dr. Bill's generosity knew no bounds. He opened his heart and home to students in need, ensuring they experienced a stable and a caring environment. His wit and playful spirit endeared to him, to both students and staff, from the memorable inflated glove conversations to the mischievous Mr. Earl cutout escapades. Not merely an administrator, Dr. Bill was a steadfast advocate for his teaching staff. He stood by them, offering them support and guidance when needed, yet also challenging them to excel. No task was beneath him as he willingly took on responsibilities ranging from unclogging toilets to mowing lawns. Perhaps Dr. Bill's most enduring legacy lies in the generations of educators he has inspired. Many Northview Elementary and primary students, influenced by his passion for education, have gone on themselves to become educators. His leadership style, rooted in dignity, respect, and unconditional love, shaped a community of teachers who continue to impact the lives of students today. In honoring Dr. Bill's memory, we celebrate not just an educator,
but a transformative force who through his teaching and actions made us all better human beings. The Educator Hall of Fame proudly welcomes Dr. Bill. Accepting this award on Dr. Bill's behalf is his wife, Teresa. It's really a privilege and an honor to accept this for Bill. I wish he could be here. He really loved his staff and he loved his children that he had. And he cared for them so much. He did a lot for them. And he still continued after the years after we left school. Uh, he finally got on social media, of all things. <laughs> and he touched, and he got in touch with so many people. It was just unbelievable. And after he passed, we had so many people to contact us. It was just wonderful. It really meant a lot. I really thank you all so much for honoring him and recognizing him for all his years that he spent in Sevier County House. Um, this is cool system. Thank you. Wow. What an evening. If uh, you're not inspired, there's something wrong because I'm inspired to go back tomorrow and, and try to do a better job. Uh, I want to thank a, a group of people here that I did not thank earlier, and that is all of the spouses, family members, friends uh, of these teachers, because you live it also. So we need to give that group of people a round of applause. Just a couple of reminders, if you are a Teacher of the Year or Support Staff of the Year, don't forget to pick up your award as you leave, and please don't forget to have your picture made. We're going to do group uh, sessions, and then any of you who would like just to have pictures made, you're welcome to use that backdrop as well. It has been said over and over tonight, but your influence makes a difference. Keep going. Have a wonderful evening.